Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer laptop. This is an Acer Aspire 3, the exact model is an A315-59-314. And this applies for any Aspire 3 A315 models. In this video, I'm going to take you over on a step-by-step -step how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove the battery on your laptop. The questions frequently people keep asking me, can I use the laptop without the battery? Sure you can and it will work just fine. You can just disconnect it or remove it and use with a charger plugged in. This way the charger will last you longer because it will not pull enough uh, wattage from it and it will run cooler and it will last longer. Even the motherboard less components are going to be working for charging components and it will last longer than motherboard. So if you're planning to keep it stationary in one place, disconnect the battery, use it with a cable charger and without any problems. But if you want to replace your battery because it's not holding any more charge, you just want to renew it, you can do that by following this video. Just make sure you power off the laptop. You don't have to save up any backup, any files, anything like that. And just pretty much plug and play. I'll give you a tip at the end of the video how to keep the first cycle of the battery, how to properly use it on the first time and how you, and you should do that once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery at its peak performance. All right. So first thing first, power off, grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. If you get the basic set, it will give you these tools. You use a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set that they do have, they include you with an opening tool. If not, the basic set, go grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. Again, I'll leave the links in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. All right, down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to remove all the screws starting from one corner, the one in the middle too. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in a single pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments area. I appreciate that. All right. Now that we just removed all the screws, we're going to keep them in one pile. We're going to grab ourselves the opening tool. And we're going to start from the front corner end. Here we're going to stick the opening tool between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there. And then what you want to do, you want to just twist it and you want to hit that click sound. You want to work yourself every few centimeters or half an inch, every, just run your guitar picks all around. Make sure you hear those big click sounds once you go into the corners by the speaker, go to the back corners all the way in there. Once you're in the corner, you want to put your finger on here, create a little tension, pull it up, and do this side. Go all the way to the back grill, go to the other corner, and there you have it. Now you just grab it, wiggle it around, and it will release itself. And right away, you can see this battery right in here is one, two, three, four cell batteries. The model for the battery is AP18. C7K and this one is an 11.55 volt 41.9 watt so it's almost 40 watt it says rated for 3545 milliamp hour or 40.9 watt hour 13.2 uh, volt all right I'll leave the link for a compatible battery in the video description if you want to replace yours to remove the battery you want to remove this screw on this side first and the screw on the left side. So there are two screws that hold it in place. They are the same. Grab the battery, bring it up. There's a tiny latches that go under the plastic. Bring it up the front and like that and loosen up. Yours, I already pulled this one here. Yours might have a little tape like this. So you want to remove the gaffer's tape that it has on top. Bring it up like this. Remove the tape first. And now we can easily work on a connector. You want to put your fingers on the side of the connector right in here, and you want to pull it straight evenly towards yourself. So don't go sideways, evenly bring it back. So many people, they just pull it sideways and they bend the pins in there and create a short and they can damage the motherboard. So there's your battery. Now that's, when you get the new one, here's the cell, you can actually see the one, two, three, four cells. 
Once you get the new battery in, first you wanna, before you set it down like this, you wanna put it on the side like that, and then grab the connector, align it in the front, and then evenly you wanna push it inside the jack. Make sure you goes in evenly. And then you put the bottom side of the battery in the case and bring it down and put the two screws that you removed. Next, once you're done with that, grab the bottom cover, put it over, and then push the corners, the front, the side, the back corners, just like that, and you wanna hear those click sounds. You wanna do this all around, and to finish it off is to put the bottom screws right over. Now, a very important tip about the new batteries once you put it in. Once you have the new battery placed in, you, want, you don't wanna power on the laptop right away, you wanna leave it off, and you wanna connect the charger, and leave it charging at least for three to four hours. After three to four hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger plugged in and then you want to discharge the battery slowly. That means don't put any heavy load, anything heavy programs. Just open some movie, bring the brightness down to 50% or less and let the battery drain slowly down to 30-20%. After that you want to power off the laptop and connect the charger again for three to four hours. After three to four hours now you can turn on the way you want while it's connected and the way you want to use it normally. That for initial charge and discharge, it is very crucial and important for the new batteries. And you should be doing that once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery at its peak performance. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.